presented by Church Tech U, it's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, how to use looks in ProPresenter 7 to send certain layers to one screen while sending others to other screens. Hi and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. One of the very, very powerful features that Renewed Vision added with ProPresenter 7 is the ability to have multiple outputs. The problem is, if you don't know how to change those outputs, it's basically the same as just using a splitter, also called a distribution amplifier or DA, to send it just to different places. So the power really lies in distributing certain layers to certain places and even changing the way text is formatted on certain outputs. So how do we do that? Well, we head over to my computer and take a look. So here we are in Pro 7, and uh, the very first thing that you'll need to do is first, of course, make sure that you have multiple outputs, um, which you do that by going over here to Screens and then uh, Configure Screens. Oops, I clicked on the wrong thing configure screens, and then you need to add your screens. I'm going to assume that you've done that already. If not, I have a video on how to do that, so take a look at that. Uh, link below the description. So, the very next thing that you need to do is you need to go in and create looks. So, let's do that. Let's go to screens and then edit looks. So, um, let's go, um, first I want to delete that because we've just got a few too many here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this plus button. By default, you'll only have one look here. It'll probably say normal, by the way, um, or default. I can't remember if I changed that name or not. Um, maybe look one. That's probably what it says. So, anyway, this is how it'll look. Um, it depends on how many outputs you have showing up. Right now I've got four audience screens uh, that I'm using. So if you have four, you'll have four. The name at the top will be each screen. So each column is a screen. On the left-hand side is the layers. So do you want the uh, video input layer to show? If not, you can just uncheck that. Uh, if you want the media layer to show, leave it checked. If not, uncheck that. And by the way, you can mix and match these however you want. It doesn't matter, you know, like this. Now, the slides layer is a little bit different, and I want to make special note of that. Uh, first thing is this row here says do I want to show the slides layer or not? So here on this lyrics layer, I have unchecked that. So I don't want this output to see um, lyrics whatsoever, the slides layer whatsoever, not on the lyrics output. I don't know why I'd want to do that, but let's just say that I did. Um, the next layer up here says presentation. And that might be a little confusing, so let me explain what that means. This is the theme that you're going to use for that particular slides layer. If you see the Ghostbusters symbol here, that means you're just going to use the default. You're not doing anything special. Think of it that way. I'm not changing the theme. That's what this is. So this is the Am I changing the theme? No, 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 no. But what if you want to change the theme? No problem. Click on the Ghostbusters theme here uh, and scroll down to the one that you want to select. Um, my current favorite one is this one. So let's just change that. And you'll notice that it has this alternate icon here. So that indicates that this is using an alternate theme. Now, 
let me show you something else. If I go ahead and I uh, click on this one, and let's say I choose, well, you can't see that. Let me, there we go. Choose this one. Then you'll notice that it has the same icon, even though it's a different theme. So that doesn't show you which theme that you're using. It just says, hey, I'm using an alternate theme. So that's very important. Continuing on, the announcement layer, use it or don't use it. So the checkbox applies, props and messages. Are you displaying the props and messages layer or are you not? Check or don't check, same way as down here. Now up here for masks. Masks is another one of those layers that this means, no, I'm not using a mask, which is the default. So the, you can also think of the Ghostbusters uh, symbol here as the default symbol. No, I'm not changing anything from default. But if I wanted to add a mask, and the reason you do that is if you're doing environmental projection, or maybe you have a motorized screen that sometimes you lower all the way, and sometimes you don't. Maybe you'd want to use a mask to mask off the bottom of the screen when you don't lower it all the way. Either way. So click on that and you can uh, create a new mask by clicking edit mask. There's also a mask editor up here under more. Or um, you can just select a mask you've already created. Let's say I wanted to select that one. Now you'll notice that this is a slightly different icon. It's like the uh, ProPresenter icon, but with a circle over it, but only over part. So it's masking out part of the ProPresenter output, if that helps you. So that is um, how you create a look. You might be curious how you rename it. You just click on it and type in whatever you want to type. Sorry, my I typed such gibberish that my uh, computer thought that I was trying to do some HTML. So anyway, let's call this uh, output theme look. I don't know. Just made that up. So and then I hit enter and it uh, changes the name there. But you'll notice that up here it says live and what that means is this is the current look that is live. It's the key off look that I used for a totally different tutorial. Um, so if I wanted to make that live, I could click this and that would make it live. If, on the other hand, I wanted to edit a current look, the one that I'm currently using, which, as I say, is the key off look, Let's say that I wanted um, to add that in. Then what I need to do is I need to make that live. And this indicates that it hasn't been saved. So I really do need to save that as it is before I um, send that off because otherwise I'll get odd results. So that is how to add um, new looks, how to um, change the theme for just a particular output, how to add in masks, etc. in uh, ProPresenter 7. In a future tutorial, I'll show you how to um, go ahead and change those automatically with an action. So look for a link to that below this video. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my uh, ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So if you would, head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. And you can sign up there and I will send you a login so that you can be a part of that course for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you, to go out and change eternity.